I have been really reluctant to address this topic simply because um, it's just not something I've really wanted to get into. Um, but something happened last night that's basically, I feel I have to address something that happened last night. And we're going to talk a little bit. And I'm not going to talk about everything going on. But there is specific some stuff I want to specifically talk about, and that would be Nick Ricada. He had one of the cringiest responses I have ever seen on the internet. I, I can't believe how bad his response was on his live stream. I'm not going to get into all of the legal stuff going on because uh, I think most of that is disgusting and... Um, I, I think that when kids are involved, that it, that it, any defense of anything other than the kids is uh, just absolutely ridiculous. And I'm not going to get into the mud uh, of all of that. But it's kind of hit another level. Um, and it's hit another level where even Dexerto was talking about it. There's a reason I want to address this particularly because of his response. Now, Nick Ricada um, is an attorney. And he is famously one of the biggest super chatted channels on this entire platform or has been in the last few years. And recently he's gotten into some trouble legally and he made his return to the internet last night. And his response was awful. One of the worst responses I have ever seen from a creator. And it's right here. And I just want to play a little bit of what he has to say because I couldn't believe how fucking tone deaf his response was. And the reason I want to talk about this is not because of Nick per se. It's because I want my audience to know that I will never disrespect you the way that he has disrespected his audience. It's fucking amazing how much he disrespected his audience. All right. This is awful. So let's listen in, and I will make my point after this. It was going to be a much longer stream, but um, first the release of information that's supposed to be protected uh, at a very specific time right after I announce the show and right before the show starts is, is something that is concerning. And, uh, of course, I will have a lawyer looking into that right away. I know people want to draw conclusions from whatever's going on. And look, there's no way around it. There's nothing to say other than people will get to draw their conclusions from what they read. I'm not here to fight you guys at all. I'm not here to fight your conclusions. I'm not here to fight or justify or prove anything. I don't need to do that for you. Believe it or not, a lot of really well-meaning friends want me to do that. And these people are lawyers, which is shocking. They want me. I'm going to, I'll say it this way. They say, Nick, you need to do X, Y, and Z because of your YouTube channel and your online image. And my response is, sir, madam, I don't know if you know this. But the lowest priority in my life right now is my public image for the purposes of YouTube and Rumble. You're on the fucking internet right now talking. Clearly, it's a massive priority. Clearly, it's a, if it's not a priority, then you wouldn't be on the fucking internet. And it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. And the reason that I'm bringing this up is because Nick was made by the people. The people made him. The people made him. They made his channel. They made him successful. They made him a fucking internet celebrity. They did that. And I, and I listened to what he said, and I'm like, motherfucker, dude, like, what are you doing? And I want to qualify what I'm saying right now. Just so I can qualify. Because Nick was one of the biggest super chatted channels on the internet, okay? One of the biggest. 
And I'm speaking as somebody right now that has two channels in the top 21. Geeks and Gamers right here, 17th, D-Day Cobra 21st. And that's for, is this for the month? That's for the entire month of, uh, that's, for the, that's for May. That's for May. And I'm just saying that to qualify why I'm bringing this up because it's such a bad look when the people that literally make your life better feel that they want a few answers when you've got a massive public fuck up. Doesn't mean you have to tell them everything. It doesn't mean that they that you have to give the internet everything, but treat them with a little fucking respect. So any of you who want me to come out here and like do some weird grandiose apology or prostrate myself in front of you, let me just help you with my public image right now. Fuck you. Right in your goddamn mouth. I'm not here to worry about what you think about me. And that should be obvious to damn near anybody. And if you think it's in my character to come out and grovel before you and say, oh, oh, I'm so sorry I let you down. I didn't let you down. I didn't pick you up. I didn't make you and I didn't make promises to you. So if you feel let down by me, let yourself down from the stool, Robin Williams. I'm not here for you. I'm not here to own your feelings. And then why are you on the internet talking about it? It's a genuine question. If you're not here for the people, then why are you on the internet talking right now? And I know Nick. Nick is a smart guy. This was a horrible fucking response on every single level. But the response in this situation, in my opinion, hey guys, uh, so obviously this is my first stream back and uh, it's been a really, really rough few weeks for obvious reasons. I can't get into the details of all of that. And right now um, I'm trying my best to navigate everything in my personal life. And now here I am in my professional life on a live stream. And I want to thank all of you that have shown support. And I also want to acknowledge there's a lot of people out there that are frustrated, that are mad, that are angry, that are disappointed, and I totally understand that. And when the time is right, once all the legal battles are behind me, I promise you that I will try to give you as many answers as I possibly can. But for now, I'm just trying to have a live stream and let's talk about some relevant topics going on, and we're going to have some fun. But for those that are looking for more details, I'm not really going to be able to give you any of that right now, And uh, but maybe at a later date. That's it. That's all he has to fucking say. Instead, he's telling the people that gave him hundreds of thousands of dollars that they don't deserve shit from him. And as a person that is on the internet that has decided, because there's, as a content creator, there's a couple of different ways that you can, at least for a, a few people, and I'm lucky enough to be one of those people, I can determine of like, how do I want to make revenue? Can, do I wanna make it through just focusing on video, 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 video? Or do I want to focus on super chats and revenue and engaging with my audience? And I've done both over the course of the last five or six years, and I've been pretty good at it. I'm not the best, but I think I'm decent at it, and I'm lucky enough to have a community of people that will support me in whichever way I do. But when you are that type of personality that is 100% audience-driven, to come out and be defiant and disrespect them on that level is the most tone-deaf thing I have ever seen from someone that I know to be a very smart person. But it seems like ego has completely clouded the situation. And there's obviously been alcohol and drugs involved in the equation, which is something I can't relate to personally. Um, but the whole thing is just very, very ugly right now, man. Um, and I, I wanted to address that to just say that if I'm ever, if, and again, considering I don't drink and I don't do drugs and I don't smoke and I've never done any of those things, uh, the, the probability of me getting caught up in anything remotely close to this is not going to happen. But some shit may happen one day. I don't know. 
Um, and I will never talk down to my audience or disrespect them in this way, shape, or form. Um, and I thought that this was a horrible, horrible look. Now, in terms of all the other shit going on, but I, I'm not the guy to get into the, the messiness of this. That's not my game. But I felt the need to have to address this particular response because it was so bad. This was the this was equivalent to the acolyte. Like the, Nick's response was on the level of Disney Star Wars. That's how bad it was. And I I thought that he would do like I thought that him knowing him he would have a better response. And it was the worst fucking response I you could have imagined. I couldn't have imagined a worse response than this. Let's hear the rest of this really quick. And I'm not here to apologize to your feelings and sensibilities either. And if I did, you shouldn't respect me because anybody who comes out like a little fucking bitch and says, I really am worried about my public image, not my family, not my liberty, not holding government accountable, none of that. But my public image, how huh, my public image? Well, you're probably a fat Canadian or maybe a skinny Canadian who can't fly to the right city. Or maybe you're a doughy Minnesotan. I don't know who you are. But I'm not here to apologize to you or for anything. I, I don't think anybody's asking for an apology. I don't think anyone was asking necessarily for a response. People were just interested in what your response would be. And I just laid out what the response should have been, and then that wipes away all the controversy at all. But again, I'm going to leave it at that. I, 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 you, you go on the internet again it's the most retarded thing ever it's like saying i am a youtuber but i don't care about views of course i care about views oh i'm a live streamer but i don't care about super chats of course i care about super chats oh, i'm a live streamer but i don't care about public image of course you do that's why you are live streaming that's why you do it because you care about what people think about you in some capacity it's a hundred percent bullshit 100% bullshit. But anyway, I wanted to address that because I have stayed far away from that topic since it broke, what, like a, a month ago? And people have been kind of asking here and there, and I'm just like, I'm not talking about that, and I'm not talking about all the other bullshit. But that response, I felt that that needed a response right there because that was an all-time terrible response. Doug B for 50 on Rumble. Damn, Nick. Shit. Might as well close up shop. I never did care much for his personality or demeanor. Myself, in my opinion, no one should ever give him another penny. Cobracast is where it's at. 199 for life. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, again, I, I'm not here to throw him up. I don't give a fuck about Nick. I care about the family and the kids in this situation. That's what I care about. So uh, <laughs> that's the only thing. <laughs> that I think anybody should be worried about, uh, not Nick Ricada, because whatever has been done, he's put himself in that position. But the stories and the accusations that are out there are downright horrible shit.